this is Patrick Everson for Covers.com, coming to you from the fabulous Fremont Street Experience. We're just outside the Golden Nugget, and today is the day that the Golden Nugget Sportsbook, led by Tony Miller, the Sportsbook Director, puts out its annual college football games of the year. It's kind of a rite of passage every year here in Las Vegas, and we're going to talk to Tony Miller for a few minutes about how the process unfolded this year. Uh, I tell you, Patrick, it's something we do every year now. We do, it's our 10th year doing this, and it brings so many people into the Golden Nugget, into our property from around the country that come here, stay here. They come here to bet these games. It's an annual thing, and it let, get a lot, a lot of publicity out of this. So it's something we do and something that's very important to us, and we're very proud of it. I love putting these games out so early. Football season's here. It's in the air. We get these things out. The public love it. They love coming in talking to me. I get a lot of Twitter stuff on Twitter where people ask me about games, a lot of personal emails. I get to meet a lot of new people that come in from around the country and a lot of old faces that I don't see every year. So when you come in there at 12 noon when we release those games, Patrick, you'll see a lot of sharps, you'll see a lot of frenzy going on at the counter and it, it's chaos in there and it's really fun. I think the first day we put these out is the funnest day of the year for me. When I started here in 2006, we used to do these when I worked at the Las Vegas Hilton back in the 90s. And uh, so when I took the director's job here at the Golden Nugget in 2006, it's something that I wanted to implement. It was something that was very popular and something that caught on very fast in our first year in 2006. It's funny because as soon as the Super Bowl ends, Patrick, we start looking at these games. Um, you know, it takes a long time to come up with numbers for these things. We have power ratings, and me and my staff, Aaron Kessler, we get together once a week and we start talking college football. In February, we lock ourselves in a room, Aaron and I, and we bring down Bruce Marshall from the Gold Sheet, who helps us out with the numbers. He's very knowledgeable in college football. And uh, we sit down for hours, and we start team by team. We come down with our, first we talk about our top five teams in the country, and then we hammer out the schedule, and then we start talking about particular games. That's definitely Aaron Kessler. Aaron Kessler is a really smart bookmaker, a Theo guy, and he really sticks to his numbers. And, uh, you know, I can see it in his face when I settle on a number because I have the final call. And if I'm off on his number and I settle with my number of bruises, I can tell in his face, uh, I think you're wrong on that one. <laughs> Well, you know, first of all, when we sit down with our top five, we all had a different top five. My number one team this year is Clemson. I believe Bruce was at Alabama and Aaron was at LSU. So right off the bat, we started arguing about why my team was one, why his team was one. We all have our opinions on different teams, of course, but we're not going to change. Well, for me, I'm really high on the Houston Cougars this year. Uh, I think they're a very good football team. I think, you know, if they get past that first game against Oklahoma, they could run the table and have an undefeated season. The other two guys, you know, kind of like the Houston, but they weren't as high on them as I was. Aaron Kessler really, really high on LSU this year. He thinks the Tigers got a great, great defense. Leonard Fournette running the ball. They could be number one in the SEC and go all the way. And Bruce Marshall likes Alabama. He likes how that much they reload. And, you know, Nick Saban's Nick Saban. They're always going to have a great football team. It's always the SEC teams. Anytime Alabama's involved or the LSU, Auburn's, Ole Miss, all those teams, Texas A&M, and this year, Tennessee. The public loves betting on SEC football. This year, I think the team everyone's talking about that we think is going to be good, that we have a very high opinion on, that sharp money's going to come in and probably bet the other side, we're thinking they will, is the Tennessee Volunteers. And with that team and all their games involved in the games of the year, we're probably going to see a lot of action on those either go up with the favorite or down with the dog. It's going to be the Tennessee Volunteers, I think, this year.